Hey YouTube, it's Manny. The other day we got a 3080 Ti from Zotac, uh, and I, a couple of my buddies told me that you really should look at the, replacing the thermal pads because the thermal pads on there are actually terrible, and they often disintegrate after a while, and then you'll have de degradation of the car, and you'll actually start overheating, uh, getting higher temps and like that. So um, I've had the card for this is my second day with the card, so I finally got the pads in. We're gonna uh, we're gonna replace the thermal pads. We got. Um, uh, two millimeter, three millimeter from uh, Thermal Take, uh, Thermal Right Extreme Odyssey thermal pads. So, 2.0s are for the front and 3.0s are for the rear of the card. We're gonna replace all the thermal pads in it. And so, in this video, we're gonna take the card out of the computer. We're gonna then disassemble it, replace the pads, put it back together, put it back in. We had previously benchmarked with the with the existing pads. We'll then benchmark it again once I replace the pads, see if our thermals go down. I don't expect our uh, performance to go up, but it would be nice to see the, the thermals going down, specifically for the memory, uh, and we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we have to do is, so I believe we want to, we're gonna fold, we're gonna fold it open this way when we separate it. I could be wrong about that, but we'll, we'll check it out. So, but first we have to take off these six screws are the ones holding it in. So we're gonna take those six off and then open it up. Just like that. All right, so we're obviously gonna clean off the thermal paste. We're gonna reapply thermal paste. We have the memory um, thermal pads, which go on here, but we're gonna take them off here. We're gonna stick them on here. There's a thermal pad stuck here, a thermal pad here, and there's a little thermal pad here for this little guy down here. So we're gonna replace all those thermal pads, plus we're gonna clean this up and reapply thermal paste. So. Let's get going, let's get cleaning up. What we're gonna do now though is, I'm gonna clean off the paste first, then we're gonna actually take a few more screws off, we're gonna take this out, and we're gonna get to the back side uh, where the three millimeter pads are. But first I wanna clean the thermal paste off because we're gonna have to put this back over here. There's a couple screws I missed, I should've taken them out ahead of time, but we have to flip it back up to get those screws out. All right, so to clean the thermal paste off of the heat sink, simple, you don't have to worry about anything. We're just gonna use a uh, paper towel and some isopropylate, rubbing alcohol, and just wipe it off. Super quick. All right, now for the actual GPU. It's a little trickier. So we're gonna actually use uh, Q-tips to wipe around the edges to make sure that we don't um, ruin it. All right, now that I got the uh, thermal paste off, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna worry about the, the, um, the thermal pads on this side yet. What I wanna do is do the thermal pads underneath first because I, I don't wanna be flipping it back and forth. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is take a couple screws off, a couple more screws off, and we're gonna get the thermal pads on the back side first. So what we're gonna do is this, this uh, one, two, three, four, five, six screws on this side we're gonna take off. First. All right, and then there's two screws on the other side, which I should have taken off ahead of time. One and two right here. All right, so once we have all those screws off, we're actually gonna disconnect uh, the bottom plate. It must be, I think it's a sensor for the heat spot. So take this guy out, right? And then we're just gonna simply peel this off. Like that. And there's our thermal pads, our backside. So these are the three millimeter thermal pads. 
Uh, we have one here, 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 and here. Those are the ones we're gonna replace. And um, so, like I said, we're replacing, we got the two millimeter for the front and the three millimeter for the back. So what we're gonna do is take one off at a time, cut it to the right size, replace it, and that way we don't mess things up. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the biggest one first. So this is our piece of um, thermal pad. Basically, just take one here, just a little piece and peel it off. All right. So what we're gonna do is take it and put it on here and just measure it. So the top piece is just a piece of plastic. So we're gonna stick it right on there. We're gonna stick it on the top side first and just cut it to size. Now you can cut this one of two ways. You can use scissors. You can either use scissors to cut it or you can use a knife. I'm gonna use a knife to cut through it. So that way. And once you have it cut to size, we're gonna apply it. The black, the, the other piece is still on there. And we're just gonna simply remove the top layer. Let's make sure it's on there right. We're good to go. Oops. It's one piece. Let's repeat that for the last uh, three pieces and we'll uh, put this back together. All right, there you have it. We have all the thermal pads on the, um, the back side replaced. So now we're gonna uh, flip it back, screw uh, the back side back in, we'll plug in the, um, I believe this is actually just a um, sensor. And uh, we'll go from there, all right? So now, unfortunately, the thermal pad that I bought is not that large. I hope I have enough to replace it. I think I do because these are all square, or rectangular I should say, and I should be able to cut the pieces in the right thing, in the right order that I can get it. So this is the size pad I got. This should be plenty. Uh, essentially, it's almost, well, I'll have to cut it this way, but one, two, three, four, and there's a little one right there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull these pads off. Try not to stretch the pads too much. Um, you could take, you can also measure them right now and cut it that way. This is a new card, so he's still pretty malleable. So I'm going to pull them off and just put them down and, um, go from there. But we're not, I'm not going to stick the pads up here. I'm going to actually put them down here on the actually memory, memory module themselves. Uh, these ones I'm not too worried about pulling off. Be careful pulling these off. You don't want to damage anything. So let's start. I'm going to start with the largest ones first. The memory ones are the ones I want to replace uh, the most. So if I run out of, um, if I run out, then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I'll actually show you how I'm doing it this time. We'll actually take one off and move things around. So let's take off, let's take this thermal pad off first, all right? And then we're gonna come over here and I'll show you exactly what I'm kind of doing. So I'm just taking this pad and I'm putting it down on here to get the, the correct size. Just trying to line it up as best I can. I know it's supposed to be a square pad and it's a little off uh, do the best you can. This is not rocket science. You want to cover the thermal pads. And if it's over a little, it's not going to kill anybody, but you don't want it too much bigger. So I basically just do it like that. Take my knife and essentially just cut. It's going to cut. Uh, it's not going to cut through the blue. I'm not pressing that hard. I'm just cutting through the gray. Through the first, uh, there's two pieces of plastic on this. Is this the um, blue and then the the clear plastic on top. There you go. So once it's cut through, I'm just gonna simply just peel it off. I missed the corner a little bit. Let's cut the corner better. There we go. 
All right, so now we have our thermal pad. Remember, there's a protective film between this, so I don't really care the black's on there right now. Let's come back over here. And let's replace our first one here. So um, there's two sides to the thermal pads. This one is checkered kind of. I don't think it matters which side goes down, just as long as you take the film off. Remember, there's the blue film on here as well. That already is off, right? So that's gonna be our side down. And then there's a clear film between the gray and the black. Remember, this is two millimeters now. And this is gonna go right on the memory modules. Like that. And I'm gonna take the clear plastic and peel it off. I'm gonna make sure we're completely covering those memory modules. So you got the clear plastic on the black. Put that to the side. Uh, not the best cut, but it's, um, there we go. You wanna make sure you, make sure you cover, completely cover the memory modules. That's the important thing. All right, so I'm just gonna repeat that process here, 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 and this little guy, I'll do the last. I mean, I, I should have plenty to do that, you know? All right, that's all we're gonna do. You guys will see it in a minute. All right, and there you have it. Um, all of our thermal pads have been replaced and, and installed. Uh, the small one right here, you have the larger one here, the memories. I don't actually know what everything is. So now the last thing to do is put some uh, thermal paste in here, spread it around a little bit. Typically with um, like CPUs, I just put a drop whatever and go with it. With this, I'm actually gonna use a, a spreader. So what I'm using today is uh, we're going to be using uh, Thermal Takes TG7. We're going to place it on there and uh, spread it around. Put a little glob. We can put more if, it, if it's not enough, and we're going to use just a spreader that came with it. Make sure it's nice and even. Now that we have all the thermal pads and thermal paste reapplied, we now have to reassemble it. So what we're gonna do though is, um, I don't wanna flip it this way in case the pads fall off. So I'm gonna be careful. Oh, you know what I also forgot to do is make sure you connect in your, your sensor, your back plate sensor. Your... So being very careful, we're gonna flip it this way. Make sure we line up. These are probably your best holes to line up and once those are lined up, you're pretty much all set. And just line it up like that because we're going to flip it over all together. So that way, make sure the holes line up. And there we have it. Then we start screwing things together. All right, so this bottom screw is a little tougher. Um, good thing is you can actually see where it lined, I got a little thermal paste on there. You can actually see in there, right here where it lines up. So this is the only, it's a good screw in the sense that you can actually look down here. I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but you can, uh, that, oh, there we go, the light helps. So watch, you can actually see the screw right down here, right down there. So I had, I had trouble lining it up, but I got it finally lined it up. All right. Let's get it back in the PC and get some uh, benchmarks. All right, guys, so uh, as you can see here, we have the original pad um, results and uh, thermals on the left. We have the new uh, the new pads uh, and results on the right. The results, like, it varies, like, what? That's like 50 points or something like that. It's not really worth it. Like I said, it could be up a little bit here and there. It just depends on the run itself. But interesting thing is if you look at the thermals, the GPU temperature itself is roughly about the same. It didn't really improve. Uh, it, it actually decreased a little bit. It was like 0.2% uh, hotter. Um, the memory went way down, went eight degrees down. And then the hot spot actually went up a little bit, about two degrees, a little more than two degrees uh, Celsius. So it is interesting that it went up a little bit. So um, just looking at this, I think it's worthwhile to replace the memory um, thermal pads, but I would leave the thermal pads on the back. And the reason I did this in the first place wasn't necessarily to get better temps. What I was actually doing was uh, I saw I saw lots of videos and I had buddies tell me about the Zotac uh, thermal pads where they were actually deteriorating after a month, two months in the graphics card. 
and it was just a like a gooey gooey mess so that was the real reason i replaced the throne pads but just looking at this alone it looks like it might be worthwhile if you want to really overclock your um gpu to actually replace the thermal pads on the front on the memory slots you know obviously replace your uh, thermal grease because you want to make sure you uh, do that when you re uh, put the card back together but leave the back side alone because it actually got worse it didn't get better also remember if you do do this you will be voiding your cards warranty so that's all i got today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions i'll do my best to answer them if you'd like to see more content like this then please smash that subscribe button you can also hit me up when i'm live over on twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity where i stream friday saturday and sunday evening starting at 10 p.m eastern standard time i'd be happy to answer anything live on stream until next time youtube take it easy